Hello, everybody. I am Jason Lin. I am a student at Principal of Marketing with uh, Professor Pham. And today we're going to do uh, Simulation 12 pricing. So our mission goal today for this simulation is to have a unit sold of at least 250, have a market share for outdoor enthusiasts of at least 80%, and have a net profit of at least $1,500. So let us begin. So as chief marketing officer, I know that price is the only element of the four P's that generates the potential for profit. The remaining element of the four P's all generate costs, product, place, and promotion. The price is right is what every product development, manage, development manager try to achieve. But it is important to focus on the word rights. Let's continue. Under what condition are we working? So, so are we trying to maximize units so, or are we focusing on profit? Is market share what is driving our business at the moment? Answer to, answer to these questions will influence what is the right price. Pricing help you hit the target for all three. Unit so, market share, and net profit. The third and final goal of a minimum net profit is really attainable if the first two are realized. For this effort, we will be focusing on outdoor enthusiasts. For this phase of the mission, I will hand you over to Rachel, who will provide an overview of pricing fundamentals and strategy. All right, let us continue. Setting the right price is a function of many factors, costs, competition, product, features, customer needs, and determining the value to customer and aligning with business goals. This list of ingredients can be constantly changing, so it requires a marketer to be vigilant. Of all of these, sorting out value is a key element in determining price. What is a product worth to your customers? If you design a product that exceeds the expectation of your target segment, that customer will always be willing to pay more. Review the preference in the market survey under segments to see what matters to outdoor enthusiasts. Also noted the expectation for what they would typically pay for a backpack. Let's assume that the selling price is close to $90 average uh, purchase price in the market survey. Now build your backpack as you select design element that creates value for a customer. Try to achieve a production cost that does not exceed 50% of the average purchase price. So what did your backpack design total up to? Now, before doing this, uh, let us have design our backpack first. So let's go to the second option. Now, in order to figure out the desirable of what a outdoor enthusiast need, we can go, you can go back to see outdoor segment to see that their preferences are having a large sum of capacity as well as a great effect on waterproof. So let us see. So what I will recommend for this simulation today is to have a large tri large rectangular with its capacity as high as 10, a strap having either you want either a wide padded, wide plus chest or event support, whichever you want, but I will choose a wide plus chest Material, uh, I want to choose something that has a great effect of waterproofing. So that is advanced. I will choose advanced right here. And then featuring, I'll choose some that is effective yet reasonable to uh, outdoor enthusiasts. Water bottle based on any needs of a backpack as well as waterproofing. So now I have a max stats of capacity and waterproofing that is their highest preference of outdoor enthusiasts. And color, you don't have to choose any because it really doesn't matter. So once again, it is a large rectangular shape, a Y plus chest uh, straps, a advanced material, as well as a water bottle and waterproofing feature. So in total of that is around $49. But so let's try to choose that. So likely that feature are adequate and this will stay close to 50% of your average purchase price.
So click on the price tag and lock into your and a price that you think will make sense as you move the slide bar, you will see the margin per unit change as well. Price right here at the second to the last. What was your final price? Now, as we said before, price, you can go as aggressive as possible with outdoor enthusiasts having a average prices of $90. However, me personally, because my production cost is only $49, so I will probably just go with a total of $5 higher of $95, but you can go above or go below just average going on about $90, but that's what I will choose. We will confirm change. So mine is around $90 to $99. So it looks like this could be a street spot, a sweet spot on pricing that depends on how many competitor you have. So there are quite a few factors to consider in addition to production costs that affects price. There is one other comp com competitor focused on the outdoor enthusiast market. So this competitor will be directly challenging your effort. So in addition, your margin per unit must cover another set of importance, but potentially large costs. To investigate these additional costs, click on the other tab in the top navigation or bar and explore further. What are the major elements of these other costs? Now, on top of all these, there's only two right here, which is channel of where whichever places that you will sell and advertising, the promotion of where you will let people see your product. So that would be the second choice of channel and, and advertising. Yeah, uh, both form the cornerstone of the cost associated with taking your product to the market. So let's review a go to see if your choice makes sense. So let us continue. Your team has already established selection for advertising and channels, including a solid positioning message, peak performance, a reasonable promotional spend, outdoor, outdoor magazine, and sports talk, and finally appropriate channels of direct online department store and high-end outdoor. Review the choices to see if they are aligned with your goal. Click on channel and inviting tab to explore the option that has been chosen by clicking the various tab. Remember that we are shooting for a sales number while keeping a high market sales and, and generating reasonable profit. Your pricing strategy should allow you to allow for a great margin while addressing target segment pricing. Which which of the following would be an appropriate pricing strategy? So sacrificing your 50% margin to allow a lower sales price that incentive uh, pro, uh purchase. Now, if I had to sacrifice a 50% of the margin, that means that production costs may not be as more of like a 40 to 9 dollar i might have to drop that lower adjusting the price to below the target that might not be a good cost because that means your margin might be also lower so you cannot earn more and so that make sure the pricing is in the lower end of the target range to emphasize incentives incentives incentive the outdoor enthusiasts that might also be a good choice but remember it's the fact that if if the prices don't look expensive, they might have some concerns on whether the quality is good. And if necessary, adjust the backpack design to allow a 50% margin but lower the backpack price. Now that is actually a, a good choice with you designing, redesigning a backpack that has a lower kind of production cost. You can also drop your margin by dropping the prices. So I will choose this. Yes, the risk here is that the design may be lacking a feature and that's desired by the segment and will then lead to a lower sales. Now, when we are finished, we got an end turn. So let's check once again. We have our backpack of large rectangular, wide bus chest, advanced water bottle, waterproofing, and have a price of $95. Let's confirm change again to make sure. And let us end our turn to see how it's going. So there we go. We have a unit sold right now of 447, a market share of 92, and we made a profit of $1,772.75. So well done on this simulation. Congratulations, and I will hope for your success. I will see you all in the next video.